So who is the true flip trick master of the modern day? Well, we're going to go over my top five favorite creative skaters of the current times. So making like your parents OF page and jumping straight in balls deep, we have a fellow UK native and friend of mine, Ellis Frost. Ellis is known for having tricks wilder than Lord Xenu's request for skateboarding's favorite acolyte, Aaron the Blocked Cairo. Even having invented a few crazy tricks of his own, rightfully named the Frost Flip. So let's start this video off by jumping in with his newest street part, Aloha. Skip here. He got one, two, three, four flips. Not bad. For a quad flip, landed pretty well too. Jeez. See, to do a trick like that and not flip the board, a lot of talent, man. Seven twenty double flip. Okay, <laughs> there's some silly stuff in here too, don't get me wrong, but that is very much the kind of skating that I enjoy. Like, I like the creativity, I like all kinds of skateboarding, don't get me wrong, but this is some of my personal favourites. Like, just the, you would never expect it. Stuff that makes you think is what I really enjoy. Like this, it's like a 360 Nolly revert shot. Now that is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, that one was beautiful. So it's a regular and impossible, and you have to land perfectly in the nolly front foot impossible. And bang. Tasty. Beautiful tray foot. That triple foot people fake. rock double dolphin flip like earlier in the year i learned rock kickflip out and that was like one of the most annoying tricks i've done in a while <laughs> you never would expect it man this last trick <laughs> into the grass <laughs> go on ellis absolute legend so that was our first one that's number five on the list of top five skateboarding wizards of the modern day all right, so coming up at my number four, we have Spencer Barton. Hailing from North Carolina, USA at the age of 29 years old, Spencer is one of the most creative and stylish skateboarders out there, in my opinion. Spencer stands out with an absolutely gigantic trick selection as well as hands down the best editing style and capabilities of any skateboarder out there. With videos such as the world record Ollie attempt that honestly go harder than the week our old mate Chris, real name James Cole, has just had on social media. So to show this off, we are going to watch a segment from one of his latest videos where he takes on the monumental task of landing every flat ground trick in the book let's jump in next we have spencer barton now this guy is absolutely skits let's quickly run to his youtube channel he's some of the highest effort skate content on youtube 100 percent recommend checking it out and by the way if you haven't this video here really interesting he's made his own portable skate park but this one is where we're going to be going today i finally landed every flat ground trick it took two years this is only part one so one crazy video, every flat ground trick, and you can see by the thumbnail, 29,968 attempts right there. So yeah, we're gonna jump into this video here and watch some of it. And that is why this list is so fucking long. Let's continue. Like his editing is on point, man. Undeniable. Oh 
Like, obviously, a lot of these are filmed fairly sketchy. You can kind of let the man off that, considering he's trying to land every single flatland trick ever done before. <laughs> Stuck it. You got this, Spencer. Believe in you. Imagine he just landed it behind him. But yeah, Spencer Barton, another one that you need to check out, man. This guy is so, so good. So with Spencer out of the way, we are going to be moving over to one of my favorite skaters out there in LA right now, the Italian stallion, Jeff De Cesare. Originally coming through Danville, New Jersey at the ripe age of 32 years old, Jeff is still very much in his prime. Lads, keep an eye on your missus because as soon as she sees what Jeff's packing down one of these stair sets, it might already be over for you. This man's trick selection down some of the biggest stairs in the game is unmatched by any skater out there at the minute, in my opinion. So what better way to intro him into this video than the little segment of his mind melting street part? Let's get straight into it. Another American skateboarder, another one of my personal favorites. All right, next up, we've got Jeff De Cesare. Another one of my personal favorite professional skateboarders of all time, actually. Something about me just loves an underdog story, man. The fact that everyone just like talks shit on Jeff's style. The tricks he's been hucking have been like second to none, pretty much. This is the kind of guy that takes the technical tricks and brings them to a big set of stairs. And big stairs too. Like, look at this. Trade double down a big ass set. No one's doing that, man. Kicks at Manny. Damn. He's got all kinds of laser flip variations, 360 hard flip variations. Like, if you're not onto Jeff De Cesare, you need to check him out. And also his YouTube channel, he's been doing a ton, a ton of good videos recently. So I highly recommend checking that out too. I'll link all these channels in the description. He kickflipped out of a manual down an eight stair. <laughs> That's nuts. Switch bigger spin. No slide, no double flip. Like everything he does, he's adding like an extra flip that a normal skater would do. I'm telling you right now, yeah. If Jeff, died, like, if God forbid, right? God forbid. If Jeff was to, like, sadly die or pass away or whatever, everybody would be like, I always knew he was one of the best. I guarantee you it, man. He's, it's one of them situations where I feel like people won't really appreciate this level until it's gone. That's just what I think about it, to be honest. Jeff is one of my personal favorites, as you know. So a bit of bias. That's why he's in this top five list. Like, very heel off that, like, what was it, air conditioning unit or some shit? Triple flip down a giant block set. <laughs> What's that? That was actually pretty nice, I can't lie. Like, I'm pretty, all these tricks are pretty nice. See, the laser flips are just on point with this guy. All right, cool. We'll leave it there with Big Jeff. That's number three out of the way. We love Jeff, obviously absolute gangster. So number two on my list has got to be one of the hardest working skateboarders out there. Johnny Geiger is well known for documenting his battle with some of the hardest tricks ever done and single-handedly bringing back the primo slide variations back from the cold hard clutches of our lord and saviour Rodney Mullen. Coming from the beautiful country of Switzerland this man is spoiled for picturesque scenes both on and off the skateboard but he also has quite a selection of street videos so today we're going to jump in with his most recent one YouTube Skater. All right, next we've got Johnny Geiger. This guy is obviously one of the best flat ground skaters. Below number one in the list, I would say this man is the next Rodney Mullen, or one of them. He's one of the people keeping that dream alive. So let's full screen this. Watch some Johnny Geiger. Another friend of the channel. Highly recommend checking out his if you haven't. But if you're watching my videos, likely you already know Big Johnny. Got a kicklip nose, Manny Nolly Hospital help here. Tasteful. Mm -hmm. 
No comply kick, but that's one hell of a hard trick, that one. He likes a lot of the primo slides, like our boy old Rodney Mullen used to. See, stuff like that, man. You don't see that in other people's parts. That's why I love these guys so much. Little toe flip out. Trait for Primo. Jeez, the beauty of great. Say what you want. He's got the technical tricks and he's got them looking good. Although the speed, I mean, you could add a bit of speed. But maybe it depends what the last trick is. Okay, he couldn't really done that with a lot of speed, so I see it. Huge late flip. Tasteful double flip. Some crazy ass shit right here. Like, I know people, some people will say like, oh, these guys aren't going super fast. They're not doing mad gaps. Why would you consider them some of the best? Like, these are some of my personal favorites. Obviously, I would say like people were heading it down huge stair sets and doing like crazy tricks that are less technically sound, but just more scary and like death defying. So I can see why people would like certain things. Personally, this is the kind of skateboarding that I like. But I want to do a top five of different categories of skating as well, like top five freestyle, top five vert, top five, top five street senders. You know what I mean? So these are some of my favorite flat ground orientated skateboards. And like some of these tricks are just so technically good. It's hard to appreciate them one after another after another. Jeez, and like the Fred the Needle flip tricks, like when the board goes under the rail and you go over, I call that, I don't know if I'm right on this, but I call that Fred the Needle. But yeah, no, nah, they're pretty technical. Very difficult to do. Same with the one wheel manis. And a beautiful switch heel flip. What the fuck is that? He also the dark side. All right, cool. That's our Johnny Geiger. Now, who? Who is our number one? Before we get into my number one, I'm going to give out some honorable mentions. Number one for that is Jamie Griffin, obviously a flat ground master, just not one of my personal favorites to watch. Richie Jackson, an extremely creative skater, but not quite the level of this list in my personal opinion. And finally, Yuta Horigomi, an incredible tech rail and stair skater that we all know and love, but again, didn't really fit into the list. But finally, we have my favorite skater of all time, the man bringing freestyle back while simultaneously shredding the pools, streets, and no doubt your mum's underwear to pieces, the Canadian girl. Andy Swag Money Anderson. In all seriousness, though, this guy is by far one of the most creative in the business. The part we are about to watch, aptly named Crazy Wisdom, absolutely blew my mind when I first saw it. So let's not piss about any further and jump straight in. And bringing the freestyle tricks back to the front facing scene is Andy Anderson with Crazy Wisdom. One of the best, one of my favorite. Skates everything pool, street. Freestyle, vert. This man's got it all. It's super unique trick selection. Like, you think 50 50, but he's going nose grind. We kicked it back tail, and I love it, right? I love it when these kind of skaters, they'll go and they'll do things that you would see in a more traditional part kind of to show like look i'm not just doing this techie wacky freestyle stuff i'm also capable of doing all this like more hardcore stuff and i know like on a small obstacle you might not say that but i think that andy's doing it right Huge blunt pop out. See, I mean, look at the full crowd. You don't normally see this kind of skating from like a street guy or a street park. Huge airwalk 
disaster it is, dude. Like, man, absolute. I love that trick. And stuff like that, like he looks at the world in a completely different way, this guy. Yeah, it's so great. So front foot impossible out of the vert. Feeble on the side. And then early grab him, like what? And the filming here, I've got to say, this, this guy's filming on point. How close he got to him on that 5 on the coping. Then Ollie's Emmanuel over the channel, front shove out, get a fakey full cab. Front side flip and then an air walk out the side. One of my favorites there to throw in a line. And that, the like vert crust ass bank. Let's go back and forth again. Let's just wait. I mean, just look. Like you're landing pretty much vertical on that 180. And it's just so crispy. Coconut wheelie. That reminds me actually, one of my friends gave me the nano cubic wheels van again since to test. So, potential video coming soon. See, Andy says this here, that trick there was the second hardest trick of the whole part. It's a dark slide to 5 -0. Obviously not a lot of grind on the 5 but he rolls out of it pretty damn clean. And the hardest trick of this entire part, as said by Andy Anderson in the Hawk versus Wolf interview, is... This one right here, he said, was the hardest. Like to stay on the thing with that kind of ice. I'll run you through this one real quick. So to catch that, you get to get free taps when you're in pogo you get free taps or less before you have to move on otherwise it's considered like sketchy for example if you tic tac too many times then obviously you're going to think that's sketchy but with the pogos like the freestyle rule is free taps or less then he gets it to primo the walk around flips her back up the truck stand and then the under flip to get back to normal and bear in mind, this is also done on one of the Rodney Mullen pads from years ago. So this is from like the almost round three part, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, obviously one of the best parts of all time. This one, in my opinion, the Andy Anderson crazy wisdom. Recency bias, maybe. Just my opinion. But yeah, those are my top five modern day skateboarding wizards. So you guys can let me know what yours are in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>